Emerson, Kendall, what are you doing? Panting. Like a puppy. Yeah. It's what they do to keep cool. Oh, okay. Have either of you seen the lid to my teapot? Tea? Oh, Ashlyn, how can you think about tea? Yeah. It's a zillion degrees today. Well, maybe Camille has seen my lid. Bye. Roof, roof. Ashlyn, what's up? Have you seen the lid to my tea? <gasps> Please tell me that wasn't the lid to my teapot. Um, okay. It wasn't the lid to your teapot. Aw, that teapot was my favorite. Aw, what am I going to do now? Cool off, Ashlyn. It's too hot to get bothered. Come and sit under this tree. It's like a big shady umbrella. Or like a big shady jungle gym. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> hey, careful. That little tree needs every leaf it can get. Poor thing. You're so itty bitty teeny weeny. Especially next to this big tree. It's summer. Leaves shouldn't go yellow in the summer. Yeah, I think yellow leaves means it needs more sun. It's so small. Like a baby. If it's always in the shade, then how's it ever gonna grow big and strong? Oh no, poor, poor little tree. Well, if the little tree needs sun, let the sun shine in! You did it! Easy peasy lemon freezy! <laughs> Good try, Willa. <gasps> hey, I know! If we can't get sunlight to little tree, then let's move little tree to the sunlight. Yeah! Move little tree? Sure. We just need the right garden tools. I feel a project coming on. What are you doing now? Rolling into dirt, like piglets. It's how they keep cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're moving a little tree to a new home. Want to help? Sure. Just as soon as we've cooled down. <laughs> okay. Wheelbarrow? Check. Shovels? Check, check. Big, strong muscles for digging? Check. Right, on my count. One, two, three. Let's dig! Wait! What? Well, um, it's the other tree. Shouldn't we ask for its permission before we move its friend? Um, I guess we could. It would be the polite thing to do. I think I can speak tree. Let me try. <sighs> oh, tree of the garden. Is it okay if we move little tree into the sunshine? What did it say? Hmm, no answer. Maybe I was talking maple, not oak. Um, uh, maybe if you say please it might help. Let me try again. <laughs> oh, tree of the garden. Is it okay if we move little tree into the sunshine? Please. Look, it's nodding yes. Oh, it really is, isn't it? Thank you, tree of the garden. Wow, Ashlyn. I didn't know you could speak tree. It was closer than maple, but that's okay. Okay, let's get started. Wait. Now what? Well, I, um, I think I saw flower fairies over there by the flowers. Real sparkly flower fairies? I think so. How many flower fairies do you think there are? Do you think they'll be pink and purple with sparkles? I think I found one. Oh, oh. What about this? Oh, no, that's not it either. We should keep looking. What are you looking for, Ashlyn? Flower fairies, but we can't find any. What are you two doing? Flapping our ears, of course. Like elephants. It's what they do to cool down. But it's not really working. I'm boiling. Well, we're finally going to move the tree. Are you coming? Just a little bit more flapping and we'll be right there. <laughs> Did you see them? We didn't see fairies. 
But we did see two elephants. <laughs> oh, maybe that's what I saw. I'm always getting fairies and elephants mixed up. Well, fairies aren't going to dig this tree up. We are. It's shoveling time. Um, where are our shovels? Shovels. Yeah, they couldn't have just got up and walked off. Look, maybe they can walk. And climb? They <sighs> might have. <sighs> okay, can we get digging now? No! We can't. We just can't. Why? Sorry, you guys. There are no fairies, and I'm the one who hid the shovels. Because, well, because maybe a little tree is supposed to look like this. Maybe it's called a teeny yellow leafy tree. And maybe teeny yellow leafy trees need to stay right where they are. <gasps> Camille, I really think we need to move little tree into a better spot. No. Before it loses any more leaves. No. So it can grow. No, no, no. It's staying right here. We can't take Little Tree away. What's wrong, Camille? This is Little Tree's home. The only home it's ever known. Moving to new places is scary and sad. And I don't want it to be scared or sad. What are you talking about? Well, it'll miss all of its old friends. See? Oh, like when you first moved here. Yeah, you were really sad. I remember now. But you're not sad now. Well, no. So there must be some good things about moving. I guess. Like meeting us. Right, you made new friends. And we're pretty good friends. Even if I do say so myself. The best friends. I just had the greatest idea ever. Let's help Little Tree make some new friends. Okay, but... How? Trust me, I've got a plan. But we need all our friends to help. <laughs> Even the elephants. New places are so exciting. New faces are so inviting. New friends to help you sing your song. So much to see, we can be the you that you're meant to be. And before too long, you'll know that you belong. But with a little more space for you to grow, you'll find some things you never knew you needed to know. New places are so exciting, new faces are so inviting, new friends to help you sing your song. To see where you can be the you that you're meant to be And before too long, before too long You'll know that you belong Aunt Miranda sure likes to read a lot, doesn't she? <laughs> Would you look at that? Little Trey will have plenty of sun here Our first ever bird playhouse. Birds will love it. And Little Tree will love having new friends. What if the playhouse doesn't work? Wait for it. Wait for it. Hey! It's working! Yeah! Um, Emerson, I already watered Little Tree. I'm not watering, Little Tree. I'm watering me. I'm about to wilt. 